before we leave the ROTC issue, I just want to know how you see the attitude of Filipinos toward uh, working as a reserve force and toward that, this debate on the ROTC, you being a soldier. I think um, it's ab about time that uh, we revisit and we encourage our youth to uh, put uh, importance towards uh, the reserve force and, and, and to get into the reserve force, you need ROTC. Uh, if you look at other countries, uh, tingnan natin, uh, siguro tingnan muna natin South Korea. They have a, they're mm -hmm. still at war. Uh, all their citizens are concerned for the defense of South Korea. So lahat sila mandatory military service. Uh, how long yun? Two years? Uh, uh, two years? Two years. If you look at Singapore, ganun din. Uh, because uh, Singapore kasi feels that uh, they're a small country, they need to be strong or to project to be strong. Same with Israel. Mm -hmm. Ganun din. Tayo hindi naman eh. But uh, what, tayo... Do you, what do you think is fueling this resistance? People feel that there's no need? or people don't understand what, what's happening, or what some of the older generations say, that the younger generations lack patriotism? Do you think that's, that's a that, valid I, I think observation? It's a, I think it's a combination. Uh, that's why um, maybe because nawala yung ROTC, uh, there was some flaws back then. So ngayon, ayusin natin para mabalik natin yung sense of patriotism ng kabataan natin. Um, could be a combination of all the things you said, no? But uh, I think uh, what we need to do really is involve everybody because uh, we need a pool of reservists. Eh. Hindi naman po pwede na yung mga nagmandatory reservists like me and Ed. Someday we will fall under the retired reserve. So we need to replace the, yeah, um, <laughs> the first category and the second category. And the only way we're going to do this is to fill this up and, and prepare is with our young people must be involved. Uh, they must see the need also. Uh, I think uh, there's already an ongoing debate na because of supposed threat uh, by other countries sa atin. Mm. Alam naman natin, nararamdaman na rin natin na uh, it's high time na kailangan na natin to. Maybe uh, back in the 90s or even 70s, 80s and 90s when the Americans were here, we had a blanket of protection ng ng uh, bases, American bases here. Now, we do not. Uh, since the bases left in 92, we do not. We, we have to We're fend our for own. ourselves. We're on our own. That's why we have to embark on this uh, modernization. Not just the Army, the Navy, as you kita man, the Navy and Air Force already, uh, have already purchased uh, hardware and training to prepare. Because we need to show strength. No? Uh, kung uh, kailangan natin depensya ang sarili natin. The strength lies not just in equipment, but our people. So, dapat our people are willing to serve, are patriotic, and will answer the call uh, mm -hmm. when yeah. uh, but, the time, but, the time but, comes. But, uh,